Hello everybody, welcome to this video where we'll be discussing the best way to search on Upwork. Now I've done this video multiple times where I've talked about sh searching for jobs on Upwork, but they keep updating the algorithm. So I keep updating this video to show you the best ways to search if you're a freelancer on Upwork, whether you're a newbie or you're an expert freelancer, these are the ways to search on Upwork. So first off, there are three major ways to search and we're going to be covering all three. The first one is using keyword. So say I am a copywriter, for example, using this particular profile as a case study. Say I'm a copywriter and I'm looking for copywriting jobs. The first way for you to search for jobs as a copywriter is to type the keywords. So what are copywriting keywords? It's just typing copywriting, C-O-P-Y. It, it will even give you, when you start typing it, you, start, you, you get suggestions to use, but you can type it all out or you can select anyone you want and you click on enter. Now, when you do that, it will show you copywriting jobs. As you can see the green button here, or the green highlight here, you see the green highlight on copywriting. So any keyword, any job that has copywriting keyword would be selected for you. So the first thing I want you to do when you do that is to scroll to the bottom, make sure your job per page is 50. Why? I don't want you to be flipping through pages from page, if it is 10 per page, so make it 50 so you can scroll through the jobs very well. And you can scroll to the jobs that you want. So when you are searching through job through through the through Upwork, here are the things you are going to be getting. You're going to be getting you know the copywriting keywords jobs. Then you can select the particular job you want to select. So basically, we have a lot of copywriting jobs here. And now, why searching for jobs using the three method I'm going to share with you, which is the first one is keyword. Always use your search filters now. The best filters I like to use for anybody, whether you are a newbie, expert, is the proposal filters and the payment verification filters. So when we do less than five, five to 10 and payment verified, you already get the filters that you need from the jobs, basically. Now, as you grow as a freelancer on the platform, you will be able to use other filters to select which job is best for you. So we have less than five, five to 10 and payment verified. And you're you are gonna see all the jobs here you're going to see jobs that are less than five, jobs that are five to ten, jobs that are payment verified. Now, you can now start as a copywriter looking for copywriting jobs. You can start selecting, you know. So, for every job card, always check, you know, the amount the client have spent, client location, the rating of the client. Just have an idea of all these things. You can over around, you can over around the stars to tell you the amount of feedbacks the particular clients have gotten from other freelancers. So, this is the first way to search using keywords. Now, the second way to search, let's clear all the filters. The second way to search is what I call using categories. Now, what are categories? At your, at your, at the left, left hand side, you're going to see categories in the search, in the filters on, on the left hand side of your, of your screen. You're going to see select categories. Now you can select categories here and scroll to the bottom. Remember that I'm a copywriter. I'm looking for copywriting jobs. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom is the jobs here are uh, in alphabetical order. So that's why W writing is at the bottom. So as a writer, if you are a writer, you are a multi-niche writer, multi-talented writer, you can select all writing. But if you are a copywriter like me, who using a case study we are using, I'll select sales and marketing copywriting. So now I'm going to be getting jobs that are under the sales and marketing copywriting category. So right now it takes you to the six and right marketing category, copywriting category. Then remember to use the filters less than five, five to 10, and payment verified. So by doing that, you're gonna get the number of jobs that you want, or the jobs that you, you're gonna get the, the number of jobs that you can select from. And as you can see, you can start selecting, you can start selecting from all the jobs highlighted. So, so this is the way to go about it, using key, um, categories, and that's the second way to search for jobs why well, the first way is using your keyword. So as a copywriter, you can type in your keyword or you can go to the cat select the category at your left hand side. And this applies for every niche, whether you are in the data analytics niche, if you scroll through data analytics is under is D in the alphabetical. You see the data analytics job. If you are in the design job, so let's let's run through it. Let's just run through it. So if you are, if we if we click on data analytics, now remember that we've selected copywriting. So by clicking on data analytics, using the category is going to show us jobs in data analytics and copywriting. So let's say you're a multi-talented person or you have different skills, you're a copywriter, you're also a data analytics person. 
So that means that you can click on both and you get jobs in both niches. Now, but if you want to focus on a particular category so you can cancel or you can remove the one you've selected, so it's going to only show you the categories that you want. So the filters here, you can select, you can highlight, you can remove, and it's going to be following your instructions depending on how you use them. So this is the second way to search using the category. So what's the third way to search? The third way to search is the way is a new update that Upwork have done. Now, Upwork removed something called RSS feed. So what is RSS feed? RSS feed was formally generated based on, you know, what the algorithm, you know, deems fit for you. But right now, the RSS feed has been replaced by you using your feed. Now, using this feed means that you can build a personal feed of, for yourself where you can use all your saved jobs. So as a copywriter, if I have saved, if I have, if I have saved the search, it's going to show here. So let's go and try saving. Let's go and you know let's use let's create a new let's create a new filter a new filter that you can see here so you understand what safe jobs means. So let's go back to the search filters. Let's go back to copywriting. Let's go back to copywriting jobs here. So right now using the filter you can see we have copywriting jobs. Now let's just um, yeah let's just save this particular copywriting. So you can save your search and let's call it copywriting. Let's call it copyright copy. Or let's call it copy copy so so you can see so copy copy is the title we give the saved jobs just this particular filter we created this keyword the first method i mentioned so using this keyword we call it copy copy we save it now by going to your main page by going to your landing page the first page you do when you land when you enter your account right now you can see copy copy here copy in your saved search so copy copy is highlighted here in your safe search. when you click on copy copy here via your saved search it's going to take you back to the filters to the search filter board, search filter panel. So that's the first, you know, so using your safe search, you can go here. If you want to use the filters, so filter down or increase the filter, reduce the filter. That's the first way of using your safe search. Now, the second way of using your safe search, how I'm going to use for copy copy is that when you land here, you can see that copy copy is already in your my feed. So you can select copy copy. I am going to see all the jobs that are tailored towards your safe search copy copy. So that's, you know, using the feed. Now, so that's why. The feed has been changed and says you can build your own personal feed for yourself. So you can build copy copy. You can build email marketing. Another one I saved before this video. You can build a copyright. Another one that was saved before this video. And you can select all. So every safe search that you have, it says you can build a personal feed of up to 30 searches. So this is just one, two, three, four. This is just four. You can build up to 30 and you will not, you will buy from your landing page. You'll be able to see your jobs using your feed that you created for yourself. And you can also manage, you can manage your feed here, you can manage your safe searches, you can rename them and you can delete them. Remember that this was copy copy because we use the copywriter keyword. As you can see, it's telling us the keyword we used. If it was, if it was the category we used, you're gonna see it's gonna tell us category, this and the, all the filters we use. So you can remove or you can you know rename your safe searches. So this is the third way to search. Now the third way to search also has some extension, which includes best matches and most recent now these particular ones are tailored towards your profile as you can see these are jobs that match your experience you know and is ordered by the most relevant while the most recent are also re re recent jobs that match your profile description so this is why you need to ensure you have a very good profile if you don't know what a good profile is you can go to my previous videos where i mentioned how to create a good profile and what a good profile looks like so you can go back to that but this your profile will highlight the jobs that you're going to see under your best match and your most recent. Now, it, there's a caveat. There's something you need to pay attention to and there's something you need to be very careful of. When you are using the best matches and most recent, which is different from feed. When you're using your feed, you have tailored your, you've used your, you can manage your filters. You can manage, you know, as you can see here, we have some, some already saved filters here, which ensures that using your feed, it's very, very, you know, it's easy to use. So when you use your feed, that's that's straightforward but when you are using your best matches and your most recent it's randomized best, uh, best matches for, for example is, is ordered by most relevant so it's not ordered by you know um speed it's not really it's not really it's not ordered by how recent the job is so it's ordered by the one that is relevant to you so sometimes you can see the faster ones or the earlier jobs posted or the later jobs posted depending now but the point i want to mention today is this which is very very important the number of proposals in this particular one is not is something that is it's just something that you can control in the sense that it's not something that you can filter down 
So you have to be very careful and you have to use your eyes to filter it now when you are selecting. So yes, the job is relevant for you. Yes, the job is something that when you apply for, your proposal will be a best match for. But the number of proposals submitted for the particular job is a lot. So you don't want to. You want to, while you are using your best match, for example, while you are using your most recent, ensure that you are also checking the number of proposals sent. Ensure that you are checking the number of proposals sent and ensure that you are using every other thing, you know, on the job card, you know, which, which include the thing I mentioned at the beginning, the payment verification, the amount spent by the client and the rating that client has gotten from other freelancers. So which you can over around and see, you know, depending on how you to, you, you do. So you can do that and you can save on the, you can use, use that to save your jobs or you can use that to start selecting the jobs you can. So you have to pay attention to this number of proposals. And I remember what I said about how it's ordered by relevance. So this was posted yesterday. So I posted it hours, six hours ago. There's no, there's no structure. This was posted one hour ago, six hours ago, two hours ago, one hour ago, before two hours ago, six hours ago. So as you can see, but they are just showing you how the jobs that are relevant to your profile. So there you have it. Three different ways you can search for jobs and Upwork uh, using keywords, which you type in the keywords, say, for example, copywriter, copywriter keywords, where you can type in, in keywords. That's the first method I mentioned. Using categories, so where you go down. So first of all, now, another instruction, another thing you need to know is this. When you are using keyword and categories, try to use them separately. Don't use them over, don't overlay them over each other. Sometimes they can give you the wrong results so if you want to if you want to switch from keywords to categories you can clear first of all you clear your filters you clear every filters you have in the, in the keywords then you can move into categories you know so the first method was using keywords which you've meant I, i've showed you the second method was using categories where you can look at you look through the different categories writing is at the bottom so which is what we did over here and you get the categories and you can sell, use your filters uh, use your filters to narrow them down. While the third method was in your, your landing page when you log into your Upwork account, it's your feed, which you can create for yourself and manage for yourself. While in the extension of the feed, we also have the best matches and the most recent feeds that you can also use. And in, when you're using this particular one, you should be careful about the number of proposals and the client details because you are not the one that selected the filters. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.